My name is Daniel Levitin. I'm a neuroscientist and professor at McGill University. My new book is The Organized Mind, Thinking Straight in the Age of Information Overload. I would say the top tip is to externalize things, to use the external environment as your memory in any, any way that you can. Uh, just one example might be if you hear that it's going to rain tomorrow, don't try to remember it. As soon as you hear the weather report, take your umbrella out of the closet and put it by the door so that the environment is reminding you to take it. And writing things down uh, on paper is very helpful. It turns out that for neurobiological reasons, when you write something longhand, it requires deeper processing. So you're not only getting it on paper, but you're making it a stronger memory, which is good, as opposed to typing or entering it into a computer. A lot of this came from the experts I spoke with, people who are really at the top of their game. I call them HSPs, highly successful people. I spoke to the logistics officer, the admiral who was in charge of logistics for all the United States Middle East operations. He prioritizes things. He makes all these lists on index cards. In the morning when he wakes up and shows up for work, he goes through the cards and might reorder them if, if the priorities have changed. And then throughout the day, he'll check this to-do list. So I've started doing that. I do what David Allen, the efficiency expert, calls a mind-clearing exercise at least once a day. I just take five minutes to write down everything in my head that's worrying me or bothering me or nagging at me so that I can put it somewhere in a pile, like something to do today, tomorrow, or something I don't have to deal with for a week or more. Many of us feel these days that when we get home from work, we're still thinking about work. Yeah. We're thinking we could have done more or, you know, why didn't I figure out how to solve this problem or, oh, I forgot to do that. And then when you're at work, you're thinking about all the things you wanted to do at home and you end up being in neither place. And I think that's no way to live. I, when I'm talking about being organized, I'm not talking about turning us all into automatons like Mr. Spock. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about um, being able to focus your attention on what's in front of you, which allows you to make more time for spontaneity and creativity and to spend more time doing the things you really love and spending time with the people you love.